Most men know what beauty is. My first wife was considered, at the time when we met, one of the most beautiful women of Aizu, Japan, and I would have to agree with that. At that time, I was much, much, much younger when I met her, and events unraveled in which we found each other. But at the same time, we have moved on in life, and now, a good plenty of years later, I'm no longer with her. So when it was time to try to choose someone to quote-unquote replace her after my loss, I had to think about the women in my life and who would be the most significant, impactful person that could be right for my life. And I chose her. And openly, I chose her because she came into my life, as many people who read my book and have heard my show know, on a prayer. And she came in in a way that I was sort of unaware and sort of aware. And all throughout the time now of 10 years passing since I met her, there has been multiple signs every single day for her that God shows and reveals to me. But if that gal has said no to me in her mind, whether or not she ever actually answered my proposal, which as far as I'm concerned, she never did, despite the fact that I probably asked her to marry me at least 57 times, I'm pretty sure, at least that's what the angel said to me, and still no response. Now, is that because she wants me to continue asking her, or is that because some sort of technology company or technologist is impeding my right to professionally and personally ask her 